I'm back. It has been a crazy couple weeks. I've been talking to high school students, middle school students, parents, professionals, teachers, and my head is just spinning. There, there's a big question that students are struggling to answer. And it's such a simple question. I'm gonna do a big video on this, but I wanna give you the raw because it's just running around my head. It's the question, what do you want? I ask seniors this question, do you want to go to college? And they're surprised that I'm even asking them because you know what? Most of them have never been asked this question. Most of these students who have been breaking their backs, who have been working so hard, who have been overwhelmed trying to get in, they've been so focused on being wanted that they've never been asked that question, what do you want? And been given permission to answer it based on what they really feel. Because most of them are answering to other people. This one student, I said, hey, um, you know, why is it so hard for you to answer this question? And she said, because I've never been asked it. My parents have always told me what I should want. My teachers have always told me what I should want. Uh, even when it comes to college, everybody's been telling me what I need to do so that I can get in. It hasn't been about what they want. And here's the thing. If you don't know how to answer this question and you haven't been asked this question and you don't have any practice, then how are you possibly going to figure out what you want? And that's the crazy thing. Like this should start, you know, in grade school and continue through middle school and high school because if somebody wants something, the beauty is they can always find someone who's doing it. They can always find a place to do it. They can learn what they don't want so that they can focus on what they do want and practice understanding. And this is, this is the other piece. When you identify what you want and take a step in the direction of where you want to go, you know what's going to happen? Maybe you'll get it. But if you're like me, the king of rejection, you get beaten and bruised. You want, you get hurt. You want, you get hurt. You want, you get hurt. You get up. You want, you sometimes get it. And then you want more and you keep doing it. But unless you can start by answering the question, what do you want? And I'm not even talking the rest of your life. What do you want to do next year? What kind of friends do you want? What kind of experiences do you want to have? Where do you want to put yourself? What would give you uh, a, a, an incredible year? What experiences do you want to have? What do you want? So asking that question is key. And here's the, here's the other thing. You could go through high school, go through college, go to grad school, land a, a ridiculous job, make buco bucks, and then still not be able to answer the question, what do you want? And this happens to a lot of students who are wanted and recruited. They end up in their 20s and 30s and they look around and they're like, how did I get here? And I know how you got there. It's because you have been living a life based on what everybody else wants and you haven't practiced answering the question, what do you want? So what do you want? And whatever you want, that's exciting. Whatever you want, go after it. Whatever you want, find people who are living it. Whatever you want, find places where you can experience it. And if you can't answer that question and you're always living a life based on what everybody else wants, you're always going to be living a life not based on you. And that is not something that I would want for anyone.